Have you ever wanted to stick an image behind your SSA drawing? Man, it is really frustrating to try to work without images behind your drawings. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. Now, there's two really cool things that you'd wanna make sure you'd have with your image. One, you'd want it to be scaled correctly. So when you break out your little measuring toolbar, it tells you the right amount. If this isn't scaled correctly, this is giving you incorrect measurements, it's not really that useful. Another thing you really wanna do is have it geo-reference. Now, what exactly is geo-reference? Geo-referencing is essentially allowing you to bring in other data sources and having have them drop on top of each other. So for example, these pipe networks, I actually brought in from a shapefile from GIS. And I was able to do that and overlay it on top of an image because it's geo-referenced. I can also bring in CAD files from Civil 3D and drop them in and they'll they'll be dropped right in the exact spot where I want them. So having it geo-referenced and having it scaled are really important. So how do I do this? Well, let's start from scratch and I'll show you. Now, I have a blank drawing. Now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna bring in my pipe networks. To do that, I'm gonna come up to import and I'm gonna import GIS import. Click next, I'm gonna bring in pipes from a shape file and it's giving me my pipe IDs description, length, upstream. You might need to fiddle around with these if the data isn't showing up in the right spot. It looks like it is for all of mine. I'm gonna delete this, delete this. And I'm going to, for junctions, I'm gonna generate junctions from the pipe links themselves. I don't have any subbasins, which I can bring those in later if I choose to. And now I've brought in my pipe network. Now this is pretty handy. I can bring these in from Civil 3D as well. But bringing them in from GIS is a really fast way to bring in a lot of data quickly. Now, how do I bring in my image behind here? Now, there are a lot of different ways you can do it with ArcGIS, with ArcMap Pro. Um, but today, I want to show you a trick that I kind of learned using Civil 3D. The first thing I want to do is go to my Geolocation tab and turn on my map so I can figure out where I want to go. If you don't have the ability to do this, if you go up to your tool space, settings, right click on edit drawing settings. You need to make sure that you have a coordinate system selected. Once you have this set up, you will be able to do the geolocation tab. All right, now I'm gonna to navigate to where my project is. Okay, so here we go. What I really wanna do is I wanna export this in the right coordinate system in scaled. Now, unfortunately, there's no easy way to do this. Um, so I've kind of figured out a workaround. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a box around the area that I want. I'm gonna type in TIFF out, which essentially takes a picture, a screenshot of my computer screen. Essentially what this does is it takes a screenshot of my screen and makes it and turns it into a format that I want it to. Now I could use TIFF if I did JPG out, it would turn it into a JPEG. If I turn it into PNG out, it would do that similar, but I prefer TIFF in this application. So it's asking me select objects or all objects and viewports. I'm gonna hit enter, do all objects and viewports. Now, this might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but I'm gonna go right into that folder and I'm gonna go ahead and drag that drawing right into my drawing. And I am, want to align this up perfectly with this box with in real space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the align command, which allows you to basically move an object and align it with something else. So you can see I have this box in here, and this is why I did this, so that I can snap this. I'm gonna click here for source point. I'm gonna snap this to my final destination point. I'm gonna do the same thing with this other box here. And I'm gonna snap this to this right corner. And specify a third point, I'm gonna say no enter and I need to hit Y here to scale those two drawings to each other. Now you can see those perfectly line up and I should probably do a visual check to make sure they're correct. One more thing I'm going to do and this is going to help me when I drop this into SSA to double check that the pipes are all in the right spots is I'm going to do export I'm going to import those that same shape file into this drawing by doing map import Go to that sheet file, Washington 83 SF, I write coordinate system, and there we go. There are all those pipes, and you can see this pipe is kind of following this road. 
uh, which is exactly what I want. Let me show you the other example. So you can see this pipe is kind of following this road. And the reason I'm doing this is that it will very quickly tell me if I dropped this a map into the right spot. This is a little bit finicky in SSA, so it's really good to double check your work. Okay, so the last command I'm gonna do in AutoCAD is I'm gonna do I export, which stands for image export. I'm gonna call this CAD SSA image again, export. I'm gonna actually change the name to FWF, which stands for world file. And let me show you this real quick. When you bring in an image file into SSA, you can bring it in as a geo reference image file, which could be like a geo tiff or a geo, uh, another type of geo reference image file, or you could bring it in as just a plain old image with a world coordinate file option, which is what we are going to do. So I need to basically have this picture come in with a world file. So asking me for encoding method, I'm going to say uncompressed, give it the best quality. Uh, any of these three will actually work, but I usually just go with the default for stripped. And sometimes it'll give you a different default depending on the image. And this is the critical piece here. I could click GeoTIFF and bring this in as a GeoTIFF. What I'm going to do here is create a world file for this image. Now I want to make sure my rotation and correlation is set. Now I should be ready to bring this into SSA. Go to my layer manager again. There we go. SSA world file. And you can see it actually pulled up the correct world file that was already in that folder. Occasionally you have to click on the world file and then sometimes you need to even bring, click the image again, kind of go back and forth to make sure they're both connected in the right spot. So there you can see, I got my image file right behind the drawing where I want. I'm able to come in, measure. Good thing to do would probably be to check some of these lengths and make sure they give you the right answer. 669, I go back to my CAD file. 665, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm kind of just snapping close to the structure here. So you can see that same pipe network is running down the road like we looked at before. Um, but anyways, this is a really cool tool that's gonna let me come in if I want to. Now I can come in if I wanna figure out drainage basins, I can draw these in, um, create new pipes. So super powerful way to really enhance and make your SSA drawings better. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Uh, please consider adding a like. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Adios.